Hi, this is Gifted Phoenix, and I'm here at the Barrington apartment where I used to have a roommate known as Bad Boy for Life 69. This one time I went to go uh, smoke in the bathroom, and I hear this one woman talking to another woman, and she says, I don't know, I'm just paid to see to count how many times that she smokes. I heard this. Um, at the time, it was almost a year and a half into my stalking, and I had gotten so used to it, it just didn't even phase me at that point in time. Uh, Bad Boy for Life, I had to have known about it. There were times I would wake up to a report given to me about me. Given, a report given about me. And this one woman would be talking, and she... And the, she the person had left that she was giving a report to and she gets on the phone and she's like I don't know how much longer I can take this he just wants pictures pictures and pictures People, I don't know and I don't care who was reporting to who put yourself in my shoes think about how it would feel to hear that you're being spied on like that of how many times that you smoke how many times you know pictures after picture I don't even know I do know this it's out there somebody texted somebody there's pictures floating around. There's videos floating around. I don't know how to find them. I can't allow my mind to go back to, that, to what it was. I can't go there. I will tell you this, and that is, um, I didn't realize how angry I am over it. Now that a lot of the stalking has stopped, I, and the more and more I talk about it, I the more I realize I'm really angry at it. I'm really angry. I have these feelings and emotions I didn't even know or recognize. It gets hard. Um, bad boy for life 69. If I ever come across you, trust me, you you see those dominatrix videos with the high heels and the squishing on the guy's balls? Yes, you mosquito shit. That is what I will do to you and more. You will beg for something like that. Don't ever cross paths with me again. I will forever ever loathe you and consider you nothing more than mosquito shit. Now, as for the manager named Ashley, that was that is the manager of the Barrington Apartments, she had to have known. In fact, it was never a secret that Ashley, most of Ashley's staff was paid to spy on this person or that person, basically, if you had a child support case or, you know, custody, whatever it was that the staff would spy on your uh, actions and everything like that. This was well known. So if Ashley wants to sit there and say that, oh, she didn't know what was going on, I call bullshit if you're the manager of this place, especially if you're dealing coke out of here. It gets hard, people. I seriously did not realize the amount of anger and emotions that I have over my stalking and especially what happened here. So, if you don't believe me, that's fine. I really don't care if you believe me or not. I know what happened to me and guess what? Ecky.net and P411.com, I will never shut up about what was done to me. Never. I don't care if I lose everybody. I don't care if I have not a friend. I don't care. I will never shut up about the stalking that was done to me. And there is stalking and other cases like this. This is Gifter Phoenix. Get your neighborhood stalker, Spader. No, don't be like these assholes. These neighbors that knew, that watched, that participated in it, or turned a blind eye to it. Don't be like them. In fact, half these assholes need to be spayed or neutered. This is Gifter Phoenix. Welcome to another story of stalking and hope like hell you never endure what I did.